Hello friends, welcome to Mrs. R's Art Room. Guess what? Spring is almost upon us, and to celebrate that, we are going to be making a busy beehive. For this project, you will need a paint palette or wax paper, crayons, a black marker, a sponge brush, safety scissors, glue, yellow paint, white paper, and newspaper. Before we start our project, what do you say we read a little story about bees so that we can find out a little more information about what we're going to be drawing today? Let's read about the bee dance. When sunlight warms your honeybee wings, off you go on flower patrol. Follow a sweet scent floating on air to find a honeybee gold mine. A prairie in bloom. Sip sugary nectar with your bendy straw tongue. Yum, yum, yum. Then you race home. Climb the beeswax comb. Excitement buzzes all around. The other bees know that you have news. Do the waggle dance, honeybee. Make a figure eight. Twirl in a circle. Wag your body up the middle run. Then twirl around the other side. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Waggle faster, honeybee. Buzz louder. Your dance points the way to the prairie. How long you waggle your body tells the others how far to go. Now the bees know just where to fly. Soon they see flowers reaching toward the sky. Go to work, forager bees. Collect nectar to make honey. Stuff pollen into baskets on your hind legs. Stay out late. Carry your heavy prize back to the hive. The last glow of sunset lights the way home. Unload your cargo and store it in the combs. Then settle in for the night. When you wake up, warm your honeybee wings in the morning sun and dance the prairie jitterbug once again. Isn't that a nice story? Now we know a little bit more about bees. So, the very first thing we have to do to make our Indy Beehive project is draw the branches that our beehive is going to hang off of. And we're going to do that by first pointing to the left side of our paper. Can everybody look at the left side of your paper? It's over here. And if you're wondering which is your left and which is your right, you can just hold your fingers out just like this and it makes the letter L. See that? That means we're on the left side of the paper. So everybody take your marker and we're going to draw two lines and they're going to go just like this. They're going to go from the left to the right. Don't stop till you get all the way across. Ready? Here we go. Line number one. Here it goes. Okay. Now I know when I look at a tree, the branch gets skinnier as it, as it goes toward the tip. So I'm going to start my line out way down here, and then I'm going to get skinnier. Look at that. It's going to go right off the paper. Now, it's very unusual that you see a tree branch without little branches coming off of it. So now I'm going to add a couple of little branches. Look at that. I just need two more lines to make the branch. See? And then I'm going to turn my paper, and I'm going to make two more lines. This branch is going to be bigger. Like that. And then, oops, I think I need one up here. So I'm going to do another line like that. And then guess what? I think I want to have a couple branches coming off of this. So I'm going to add a couple lines. That means that there's branches. And I'm going to add one up here. Now, now I have a wonderful branch, but what's missing? Hmm. Let's think about that. How about some leaves? Maybe you're wondering how to make a leaf. 
Well, watch this. It's as simple as making an oval. And I know you guys are experts at making ovals. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna make some different size ovals on the end of our branches. And those are gonna be our leaves. They can be all different sizes. You don't have to make them all the same size. Use your imagination. See that? Sometimes they hide behind one another like that one did. See, same thing here. I'm going to do a bigger leaf. And then there's going to be a little one hiding behind it. See that? Suddenly we have a branch with leaves. So now I'm going to take my brown crayon and I'm going to color the branches first. And I just want to remind everybody how to hold your crayon. Remember, we pinch at the top and we rest it on our middle finger, just like that, okay? So you're gonna pinch it close to the top and hold it like this. Then you can, with your left hand, if you're a right-handed person, you're gonna hold your paper still and start coloring. Do we color great big stripes? No. We wanna really stay in control of our crayon, so we color little bits at a time, okay? See, see how I'm doing this? Little bits, little bits. All right, check back with me in a minute when I have my branch colored. So while you were coloring your branches, I also went ahead and I colored my leaves. See that? Try your very best to stay inside the lines. If you can't, it's fine. And guess what? Your leaves don't all have to be green like mine. Maybe you're, it's getting to be toward the fall and your leaves are all different colors. Maybe they're red and yellow and orange and brown. Or maybe this is a crazy fantasy tree and your leaves are pink or blue. Whatever you want to do, color your leaves in now, okay? Time to make the beehive. So what we're going to do is set our branches aside and we're going to pick up the newspaper that you got. And what you want to do is you want to find the side that has the most writing on it and very few pictures, okay? Because most beehives don't have pictures on them. So I'm going to use, I think, well, I think I'll use this side. There's more writing. And what you want to do is fold your paper in half. And this takes some practice. The way you do that is you line up your edges. See that? I lined up my edges and I hold my finger there. And then with my other hand, I'm going to press a line. Look at that. Now I have a nicely folded piece of paper and it's nice and even. Then you're going to take one of your crayons and you're going to draw a line. Watch this. You want to make half of an oval. And although that sounds like it might be hard, it's really not. Watch what I do. I'm going to start making a line and I'm going to go up and I'm going to come right back down. See that? That's all there is to it. I made half of an oval. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our safety scissors. I always want to use your safety scissors if you have them. And I'm going to cut along that line with my paper folded. Watch. Notice how I turn the paper? That makes it a lot easier to cut. There we go. Cutting along that line. If you go off the line, it's fine. It's fine, it's just a guide for us. Now watch what happens. Remember I said we had half a circle, or half an oval? Now, ta-da, we have a whole oval. That is our beehive that we're gonna glue down. Look at that, friends. Isn't that cool? There's our beehive. So, the next thing we have to do is just what I said. We have to glue it onto our branches. So grab your glue stick or your glue, whatever you may have. If you have a glue stick, I recommend putting some newspaper down on your work surface so that you don't get um, the table or whatever you're working on sticky. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue our beehive. Now you wanna get all the way to the edges because you don't want the edges to stick up because then your beehive might come off of your paper. We don't want that. 
So be sure you go all the way to the edges. See that? Your fingers might get a little sticky holding it down, but it's okay. It's just, it's just glue. If you are using regular glue like Elmer's glue, remember my rule, dot, dot, not a lot. You don't need a ton of it because you'll make a big mess on your picture. Okay, so now it's time to glue down my beehive. Here goes. Look at that. Press, press, press. Now I have a beehive. But something is missing as I look at this beehive. How are the bees going to get into their hive? I think we need to draw them a door. So everybody grab your marker and we are going to draw a door, usually at the bottom, but hey, this is your beehive. You can put the door wherever you want it to be. It's another one of those half ovals. And I'm gonna color it in. This is how my bees are going to get into their hive. You know what? Your door might be a circle. It might be a square. It might be a rectangle. Whatever you want your door to look like, it's fine. Alrighty, look at that. We have a beehive, but there's still something missing. What's missing, friends? The bees! You're right, we have no bees. Alright, this is the most fun part of this project, in my opinion. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to just set our project aside a little bit, and we're going to take I have a palette. You might have a piece of cardboard or a piece of tin foil, whatever you can put a little bit of your yellow paint on. Okay, so everybody get your yellow paint and we're gonna squirt a little bit out. We're not gonna use a lot because we don't need a lot, okay? So watch, I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Look at that, see? All right, just a little tiny bit. And the other thing we're going to get now is our sponge brush and our paper towel. You should have both of those things handy, okay? The paper towel is just so you can wipe your fingers off. And the sponge brush we need because we're going to make our very own stamps. So watch this. I'm going to take the sponge brush. Your sponge brush may be wider or shorter. It doesn't matter. What I want you to do is I want you to dip one side of it in the yellow paint and just rub it around like that. See? Yay. Okay, now, let's put this aside. We're gonna take the sponge. It's time to make the bees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our sponge brush away from our picture, and we're gonna take each of our fingers, okay? Even your thumb, you can even use your thumb. And we're gonna make some bees. Watch how I do this. I take my finger, in this case my pointer finger, and I press it onto the sponge. Look at that, friends. Guess what? That's going to be our bee. Watch this. There's one bee. I'm going to do another dip. There's another bee. You know what? Bees that are really far away from us, when they're in the background, the further away the bees are, they're going to be smaller. So I'm going to use my pinky finger, and I'm going to put some smaller bees back here. Look at that. And if you start to run out of paint like that, it's okay. Guess what? Turn it around, you can just go over it. All right, start putting some bees on your page. Use all your fingers, have fun. Look at, oh, there's a big bee down here. All right, friends, have fun, make your bees. They can see, so we need to give our bees eyes, right? And if it's a bumblebee, it has stripes, so let's give it some stripes. And some bees even have, what? Why are we afraid of bees? Because they have stingers. So we give them a stinger. And then how, do, how does a bee get around? It flies, right? So it needs wings. And I'm going to show you a trick. If you're wondering where to put your wings on your bee, if you made two lines already, you can just connect your wings to those lines. Look at that, see that? Started at this line, ended at that line. And what else is missing? Hmm, I know. How about we put some antennas on this guy? What do you think? How cute is that? Maybe you want your bee to have a smile. You can put a smile on your bee. That's a happy bee. <laughs> 
Okay, kiddos, have fun. Decorate your bees. I can't wait to see it. So friends, look at this. Congratulations. You just made a wonderful, busy beehive, and I bet it's awesome. I hope you hang it up in your house somewhere. And remember, with spring coming, be creative and be artful.